Away from their more usual haunts, they do face a real risk. They haven't spent any time checking out escape routes in this area. So when a real threat turns up in the shape of a goshawk, the dash for cover is going to be in uncharted territory. It was Arnie who was first into the hole, and he stumbled into real trouble in the darkness. A small scratch on his left shoulder suggests a snake bite. He almost certainly ran straight into a puff adder just inside the burrow entrance. A bite from this snake could kill a man. agonizing to watch as he struggles to keep up with the rest of the family, but there really is nothing that can be done other than stay nearby and watch over him. He eventually manages to make it back to the burrow alone, and only just in time. He falls unconscious. By the time the rest of the family returns in the evening, he's barely breathing. He holds on to life through the night and the whole of the next day. Then, on the third morning after the bite, there is a miraculous change. Somehow, he's pulled through. I find it absolutely incredible that an animal this size can withstand a snake bite, be close to death for the best part of two days, and now you can hardly tell him apart from the rest of the family. They're so tough, rock hard. Quite how he survived, I'll never know. Meerkats have some immunity to snake bite, but they can and have been killed by snakes. But survived he has, and in inimitable fashion. Within a few days, he's back to his normal, boisterous self, 